Hi, I'm Sina, your favorite Vita toddler, and each episode I talk about it, do whatever you say in the comments. And in today's episode, I will give you a detailed diaper change tutorial, both for yourself and to change somebody else. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I already did a video like this, but I guess I'll make an update. And uh, yeah, uh, last time I also like focused on changing pull-ups, but I don't think that really... Uh, makes too much sense because that's probably a very niche use case. Uh, oh, it's kind of snowy. That's kind of nice. So let's start off with changing yourself. Uh, let's start. Oh, it's not getting in. Um, in general, you have like a, um, you know, like as you start getting into a diaper, like doing your very first diaper change. So we're starting off with this, just getting into a diaper. Uh, and what's important uh, versus then afterwards how to actually like clean up and uh, you know what to do with the uh, used diaper. So let's start off. You're trying to get into a diaper, and uh, you know what do you do? A need you need a diaper that fits reasonably well. Uh, of course, it's helpful if it's exactly perfect, the perfect size. Um, for that, typically it's totally sufficient if you just use the kind of circumference uh, that they say on the packaging uh, because that is you know there's a lot of range and uh, it's, you know, it's a wider range than the manufacturer even uh, tells you uh, that you can use these for wow um, because you know diapers are very kind of flexible oh this was not very helpful uh, so yeah anyway you probably want to do that while lying down because in, you can do it while standing, which I'll cover briefly afterwards, but uh, you know, lying down is more babyish and it's going to be, uh, I guess, more relaxed. So essentially, um, you take the diaper that is folded and you start unfolding it. Uh, and essentially you have like a backside you can tell because there's like tapes coming from it. And this is the side that needs to be placed, uh, you know, wherever your, wherever your back part is supposed to be. Uh, so make sure you have proper space behind that tape section uh, to actually lay down. Um, one thing that I recommend to make the diaper more fluffy and more absorbent uh, is to actually ruffle the diaper. Just take the sides of the diaper. Ah, uh, just take the sides of the diaper. Uh, in like you know both sides of the absorbing part and just kind of ruffle them against uh, each other and just do that over the entire length just to kind of get everything uh, a bit more loose because they kind of get pressed uh, for shipping and stuff or for packaging so um, they're kind of very kind of I don't know tight in there which makes it of course difficult for liquid to really get good uh, absorption and stuff Wow. Okay. Oh, almost. Oh, that was not the right angle. And next, uh, after you have ruffled it up, make sure you also uh, like unfold the wings, like the parts where the tapes are and stuff, and the front wing and stuff. Wow. Squeeze. Uh, and then you basically lay onto your diaper. Um, you should try to aim, I mean, you'll get the exact positioning uh, after trying it for a few times, but essentially you're trying to have the diaper, uh, you know, if you pull them up to be exactly in the same. Oh, is, does that go in? Oh no! You're trying to get the, the front of the diaper to be exactly as high as the back of the diaper when you close it. Um, so that's roughly what you're trying to aim. And, you know, that's basically, uh, you know, how you should be placing yourself on it. But you can adjust it, try to pull up the middle part and, uh, you know, make sure it's tight uh, or you tightly kind of, not with violence or anything, just make sure it's like against the part where your legs meet your body that's exactly where the uh, size of the diaper should be to avoid any kind of leaks so don't just put your legs uh, don't spread your legs and just try to put the diaper over it just in a flat way um, make sure that you actually put the sides of the diaper into these kind of let's call them pockets between 
your legs and wherever they meet your body. No! Ah! Where's my... my player 2? Hope that works. No, it doesn't. And after you kind of found the correct kind of placement of yourself on the diaper, uh, it's now time to take the front wing and kind of wrap it around you. And uh, if it's big enough, you can make sure to tuck it in you, uh, you know, under your butt uh, so that it stays there. And then after everything is nice and kind of, uh, you know, snug, you can start doing the tapes. If there's only two tapes, then you can do one tape after another. If there's four tapes, then you start with the lower tapes because that's where the leg ceiling comes in where it's the most kind of leak uh, relevant. Uh, and you should not, like you should have a, a nice balance, don't be too tight, that's going to be uncomfortable, don't be too loose, that's going to leak, just a, you know, a nice, a reasonable, uh, you know, a reasonable pull uh, you're not trying to actually like try to force force it to be tight or anything. You're just trying to just you know just snugly uh, tape it in without actually you know making and it like you know don't put in any force to pull it tighter. Just put it where it kind of belongs without any kind of uh, gap or looseness in between. Uh, you're going to figure it out. But essentially, if it's too tight, then you know you should be a bit less tight. And if it's uh, too loose and you're leaking, then you know it's uh, too loose. Um, and afterwards, you do the kind of other side with the lower tapes. And then you do the top tapes, which essentially, again, they should be... Uh, I mean, if there's some kind of stretch at the front of your diaper, um, then just make sure the stretch is like a tiny bit stretched so that there's some elasticity and uh, then you can basically tape it again in a very snug but not too tight fashion and then you basically all diapered up. Um, at that point uh, you're basically ready uh, and again one recommendation on using a diaper uh, if, you if you're not using diapers very often you're probably going to pee a lot at once and that's going to potentially flood your diaper if you're in a certain positions, like lying, like if you're on the side, for example, then you might leak because you're just peeing too much at once. So if at first I would recommend you just either stand, um, sitting also squeezes things a bit, but uh, is still totally fine. Anything where you kind of, uh, you know, kind of, you know, t tilt it to the side where potentially the leak guards could be stressed is probably a... Uh, yeah, it's probably a, you know, a leak prone situation. But after you're basically using diapers for like uh, a long time and like in succession, then you're going to pee more often and less and then it's not going to be an issue and you won't be able to, like you will basically also be able to use it without too much uh, risk of leakage. But basically, the, 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 it's basically like a leveling system. The longer you wear diapers, the more like the better you are at using them sort of no and now we're going with the changing in while standing uh, it works basically you know all the steps with preparing the diaper except you don't put it on some kind of surface to change yourself uh, while lying you just hold it against some kind of wall or something just anything it can be literally anything that is like as high as your butt and then just hold the diaper with your butt essentially now um, against this at the back side and then you will be able to basically do the tapes with you know your your other hands um, and uh, yeah that's basically how it works while standing up now and uh, you can do that in like a, a classic bathroom situation, restroom situation, um, or, you know, potentially out in the wild uh, against a tree or something, uh, you know, whatever you prefer. Um, and yeah, 
if you now have a diaper that is pretty soggy like mine uh, then you might want to uh, also remove it at some point if you're lying down then you essentially um, you know you're basically having your your used diaper on already whatever recommend at this point uh, already have the fresh diaper folded out and beneath you and then you essentially uh, you know you already have everything layered correctly uh, I would recommend to also prepare some wipes of some sort either like some wet baby wipes or you know some at least some tissues or something um, and then you uh, basically remove the tapes you unfold your diaper essentially uh, clean up the top side uh, with some you know just make sure it's dry and uh, you know you remove as much pee remains on sweat and that kind of stuff um, it helps if you leave if you leave it to dry for a bit so if you kind of wait uh, you know a minute or so if that's an option of course it's much more much uh, easier if you if you're getting yourself your diaper change then you, you know, can just uh, you can, you can just you know pause for a while while you do something else and um, you know it's just to make sure that there's some kind of um, balance restored and is, uh, your skin is not always exposed to complete moisture and then uh, ooh. and then essentially uh, you you basically have to lift your butt in some fashion uh, so that's probably just this kind of trying to do a bridge uh, just use your like uh, just use your legs essentially to kind of lift your butt like this and then just pull out the, uh, the used diaper and put it to the side and then just uh, make sure you clean up everything else if you did number two in your diaper it's going to be a lot worse with cleanup um, and you kind of at that point you really need to leave the diaper underneath you um, while you kind of uh, you know you're wiping everything clean and you are suspending your butt all the way essentially because you don't want to kind of clean everything and then kind of uh, sit back in your diaper uh, so yeah it's going to be a bit of a uh, you know a bit of a your know, exercise in that sense uh, and again that's why it's great if you're getting your diaper changed because then it's pretty easy um, I guess you could also do that yourself just pulling your your legs basically over your head and then you will automatically kind of lift your butt uh, but yeah so that's also another option you could just do this lift your legs uh, over your head and then you will automatically lift your butt off your diaper and then things can be cleaned properly uh, and it's not really that much of an issue in terms of like strength uh, required to do that um, other than that at some point you're going to pull out the used diaper and you're basically left with the actual fresh diaper and then um, you can essentially start the normal diaper change procedure that I just described earlier and now let's go to changing somebody's diaper in case you're interested in becoming somebody's caregiver um, this of course is now the same steps but from a different perspective and it's easier because you kind of like uh, not actually diapered and you know in that like lying down position um, oh I should mention if you like chain your diaper while standing then it should be pretty easy you just pull your pants down or something um, and then just you know, undo the tapes and then pull out your uh, diaper to the back okay things things might be uh, a bit uh, dirty at the, the back side so make sure you pull them through your legs um, you know towards your back uh, and then uh, just you know just put it somewhere and then you can do a cleanup without having to kind of assume some strange poses or something uh, and also for girls especially uh, always wipe from the front to the back because you don't want to put uh, something you know bacterially infested uh, into the front region of your of your diaper area so now ah, I saved it but I also caused it so hmm. so again if you're changing somebody in that case um, you will prepare the diaper 
on the changing table, let's say. And at that point, uh, the, you know, your little, your baby is going to uh, be placed on the diaper or basically you probably have to ask them to do that. You're not strong enough to lift them. Um, and then uh, you basically have some kind of, you know, adjustment to make sure the height of the diaper is correct. Uh, and then you basically uh, pull the, I mean, again, you know, removing the, like removing the old diaper, the used diaper is obviously the same steps, but just from a different perspective. Very simple um, and much easier to clean, of course. Um, you would then basically pull the legs back uh, with using one of your arms, for example, put them into the backside of uh, your little's knees, for example, and just pull their, their knees back. Um, that will kind of suspend their butt for you to clean and then uh, just pull out the diaper afterwards. You can put all the wipes in the diaper and then roll it up and package it up and so on. Uh, other than that, you're going to, um, you know, you're going to pull the diaper up the front part, like the fresh one, and uh, really make sure that the sides of the diaper are, you know, where the legs meet the body. Um, and then uh, again, you just fold you fold the uh, wings of the front part of the diaper around the... Did I lose or... No, we, we lost. Yeah, we lost. We definitely lost. Okay. And we need to exit here. So, yeah, wrap the kind of front part of the diaper around um, and uh, try to kind of get it halfway decently snug. And then uh, you just do the, do, do the tapes. I recommend when doing the tapes just after taping it in, just kind of give it a little wiggle and make sure everything has good contact. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much, you know, it's basically the same steps, but from a different perspective, which makes it much easier because you're not also kind of in the diapered position in that sense. Um, and of course, the cleanup is much easier because you can actually see what you're doing. Otherwise, you might use a mirror or something. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then you just need to dispose of the used diaper and some diaper pail and then at some point take out the trash or something. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, bye.